these two uh, from about a year or so ago, maybe two years ago. And uh, yeah, I started to build this, uh, build a project that uh, got I got shot down. Lack of a better word, I got shot in the arse for uh, performing this. Um, at the time, um, <laughs> I was getting some misinformation more than anything from uh, RAC website about uh, crossband repeaters. Uh, I have since learned <laughs> that, uh, yeah, if you have a basic amateur radio license, which I do not. You're not allowed to build your own crossband repeater by manipulating circuitry or modifications to any radio, unless, of course, it can be done through menu only. In which case, obviously, the radio would have to be a dual band, which is VHF UHF. So, without further ado, this is going to be about that same crossband repeater that I started to construct uh, about two years ago I suppose and this is the two radios I still have them um, obviously the power cords were cut off of them and the interconnecting wires right here was snipped uh, so what I'm going to do over the next few videos or next couple of videos anyways I'm going to resurrect this crossband repeater and we're going to put her put her back to life again basically. Uh, I can't remember which way I've got it if the input is on VHF or an output is on UHF or is in on U out on V. I don't know, one or the other. <laughs> can't remember. But uh, yeah, so basically the way she originally was set up or I originally had it set up was it was just a one way crossband repeater um, there's a circuits there's two circuits built in to both of these radios um, basically I am thinking um, I'm thinking about it a lot actually that uh, what I may end up and doing with this is make it so it can run either direction you can either transmit VHF go out on UHF or transmit on UHF and go out on VHF um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to modify it to do that. Uh, we'll see. But first, we've got to get the uh, get the interconnecting wires, these blue ones here, reconnected. Get the power uh, get the power re redone here, and uh, get a bracket made up such a way that I can take uh, the radios basically and stack them like that before I had two-way tape on them and buddy let me tell you two-way tape is a bitch to get apart if anybody's work with it <laughs> and I work with two-way tape quite a bit um, two-way tape is a proper pain in the arse to get apart to say the least so anyways um, yeah so the radios we're dealing with here is the Kenwood TK860, which is the UHF version, tuned to 70 centimeters, and the VHF radio is the TK760H, which is VHF. And as you can see, there's the interconnecting umbilical cable, basically, cord, that was connected between this radio and this one. There's the other bit right there. So basically all I'm going to have to do is reconnect these two wires and re redo my power here. And I'll have a crossband repeater again. But it doesn't stop there. Uh, just building this is one thing. Quite able to build it. That's not a problem. The Where it's going to come into a big problem is uh, just think about it for a moment well actually before i tell you just think about it for a moment what other uh major 
component of a crossband repeater am I going to need? Just think about it for a minute there. A couple seconds. All right, if you can't or can't think about what it is, it's a identifier, CWID or voice ID. So that's what uh, I've got to do. I've got to make a interface of some sort to uh, send an identifier. If this is both ways, then I got to be able to make the identifier work on both bands. If it's a single band or single way uh, repeat then I don't need to worry about the ID on one side. So, on the transmit side. But if it goes both ways, the ID got to, got to work on the transmit frequency, which is a transmit on VHF, transmit UHF, vice versa. Whatever whatever it is transmitting on is what you got to identify on. And uh, on top of that, if I'm even going to put this into use, then I have to talk to the frequency coordinator here locally. And see if I can get a couple of frequencies to uh, to play with. Stick this uh, critter on. I've got two dandy bass antennas right now that I can uh, use for this crossband repeater. Um, if I wanted to, I could even take a HR2510 that I have, and I can even probably crossband that into two meters if I wanted to, um, or vice versa. I could take 10, crossband it into 2 meters or 2 meters, and uh, crossband it into 10 meters. But in doing that, it's not, <laughs> again, um, if I was to take a 2 meter signal, transmit it out onto 10 meters, then I'd have to make sure that the person that is transmitting on 2 meters actually has an HF license to be able to transmit on 10 meters. So yeah, it's a bit sticky <laughs> how it works. Uh, now what I could do, I could do a crossband from 6 meters to 2 meters, uh, 6 meter SSB to 2 meter FM, and that would be good regardless, as long as you got at least got a basic license, you can use that. So yeah, we can do VHF to UHF, we can do 2 meter to 6 meters, 6 meters to 2 meters, we can do 10 and 10 meters to 2 meters, or 2 meters to 10 meters, so... <laughs> It's uh, crossband repeaters are quite useful for different uh, for different applications, but of course, um, the person that is actually doing the transmitting uh, has to be licensed for whatever band that that the transmitter, the transmit part of the crossband repeater is transmitting on. So, um, you do anything from 10, 10, meter, 10 meters to two meters? I don't think I'm even going to bother with that just because of the problems that that could represent. And God knows, folks, I've had enough problems over the last few years, or last number of years, that I really don't need any more, quite frankly. Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll just forget about that. We'll do the VHF, UHF thing and be done with. So, anyways, I just figured I'd throw this video up there. Uh, that the crossband repeater, VHF, UHF crossband repeater, will be resurrected again. And uh, we'll see what we can do with it. I mean, this does work as it is. It's just a matter of reconnecting the blue wires. Anyways, if you're interested in uh, learning more about how these radios are interfaced, what circuit is used, and whatnot, give me a thumbs up in the video description below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, you know if you want to subscribe. So please subscribe and, uh, and comment. Tell me what you think of the crossband repeater. And uh, what if I was sure, what do you think about how a crossband between VHF and UHF would, uh, would work? And how do you think it would work? Would it work in your neck of the woods? And what would be better, to crossband from UHF to VHF? Or crossband from VHF to UHF? Or go both ways? Anyways, put a comments in the, in the comments below and I'd uh, like to hear from you. Anyway guys, all the best, take her easy. And 73, there's a ring of 63, out.